China has revealed an unexpected discovery on the moon that nobody was meant to see. The recent Chang'e 5 mission has offered unprecedented insight into the secrets of our universe's most enigmatic satellite. China was able to bring back the first fresh samples of moon rocks in more than 40 years, and the findings from this mission are incredibly revealing. In this video, I'll be taking you through the top 10 of China's recent moon mission and what it has revealed. Stick around to learn the surprising truths behind this groundbreaking discovery. Make sure to subscribe, like, and leave a comment, and let me know what you think. Moon rocks close to 1.9 billion years in age. The Chang'e 5 mission was a monumental success for China, as it offered unprecedented insight into the secrets of our universe's most enigmatic satellite. Analysis of the samples collected by the mission found that the rocks were around 1.97 billion years old, plus or minus 50 million years. This startling revelation was a huge breakthrough for the scientific community, as it has provided scientists with a precise age that can accurately calibrate the important chronology tools used for determining the age of lunar areas. The age of the moon rocks is hugely important for the scientific community, as it helps to establish the timeline of events that have occurred on the moon over its 4.5 billion year history. It enables researchers to accurately date certain events such as the creation of certain craters, the formation of lava flows, and even the formation of the moon itself. Knowing the age of the moon rocks also allows scientists to understand the way in which the lunar surface has changed over time, including changes due to meteorite bombardments, volcanic eruptions, and other natural phenomena. The results from the Chang'e 5 mission have had an incredible effect on the field of planetary science as it has enabled researchers to accurately date certain lunar events. In particular, it has allowed researchers to properly examine the volcanic processes at work on the moon, as well as the meteoroid bombardments and other natural events that have shaped the moon over the years. The precision of these age results has also allowed researchers to investigate the mysteries of the moon's magnetic field. By examining the presence of hydrogen in the moon rocks, scientists have been able to deduce that the moon may have had a much stronger magnetic field than previously thought. This is a remarkable discovery, as it potentially provides clues as to how the solar system was formed. Knowing the age of the moon rocks has completely revolutionized our understanding of the moon and its past. Scientists now have the ability to accurately study the surface formations and geological processes of the moon in order to gain insight into the earliest days of the solar system. The discoveries from the Chang'e 5 mission have therefore opened up a wealth of new opportunities for planetary research and exploration. Composition of Basalts The composition of basalts in the samples returned by Chang'e 5 hold the key to the moon's volcanic history. The Chinese Academy of Geological Sciences, led by co-author Dunyi Lu, used sensitive high-resolution ion microprobe, shrimp, to determine the composition of the basalts and uncover a great many secrets regarding the lunar activities in the past two billion years. This is a monumental breakthrough in developing detailed chronologies of the moon and our solar system as a whole. Basalt is a type of igneous rock that is formed when molten lava cools and solidifies. It is composed of materials such as plagiocase, pyroxene, and olivine, and is usually dark in color. Basalt is the most common type of rock on the moon and is believed to have been formed by volcanic activity. The Chang'e 5 mission has revealed that the composition of the basalts on the moon is similar to that of Earth's basalts indicating that the moon's volcanic activity was similar to that of Earth's. The Chang'e 5 mission has also revealed that the basalts on the moon are composed of a variety of minerals, including olivine, pyroxene, and plagiocase. These minerals are believed to have been formed by the cooling of molten lava and are thought to be formed by the same process that formed Earth's basalts. The presence of these minerals indicates that the moon's volcanic activity was similar to Earth's. Recent Volcanism The findings from Chang'e 5 have opened a new dimension in lunar science, 
Discovering fresh, recent volcanic materials on the Moon, scientists have long postulated that recent volcanic activity, albeit minuscule, could be taking place on the lunar surface. The discoveries from the Chang'e 5 mission provide concrete evidence for the first time of the presence of recent volcanic activity and the nature and composition of these materials. The Lunar Volcanism Observation and Analysis Investigation conducted by Chang'e 5 has revealed a unique set of basaltic materials that distinctly differ from the basalts found in China and elsewhere. These basalts reveal key information about the Moon's recent volcanic activity and offer a new avenue of exploration for future lunar missions. Examining the Chang'e 5 samples has unveiled the presence of small areas of crusted volcanic gases with various elements, such as iron, silicon, aluminum, oxygen, and magnesium present in their composition. This indicates that recent volcanic activity was taking place even though the Moon is a mostly dry, barren world. What's more, the analysis of these newly discovered basalts from Chang'e 5 have given scientists a better understanding of the Moon's previous volcanic activity and how it has changed the Moon's surface over the last two billion years. This groundbreaking analysis lays the groundwork for further exploration of the Moon's geology, mineralogy, and the general processes on its surface. Surface Water Detected The Chang'e 5 mission has been revolutionary not only in terms of what it has revealed, but also in its development of detailed chronologies of the Moon and our solar system as a whole. Since its launch in November 2020, it has been able to perform groundbreaking research that could not have been done through remote observation alone. The first on-site evidence of surface water on the Moon is among the biggest discoveries. Astronomers have long speculated the presence of water around the lunar poles and have used previous probes and missions to analyze deposits. Chang'e 5 sent an advanced instrument to the Moon to extract and analyze soil samples and return them to Earth. The Lunar Volcanism Observation and Analysis Investigation LVO, conducted by Chang'e 5 has successfully uncovered this groundbreaking evidence of surface water being present in areas of permanent shadow, suggesting that this was originally produced as a result of solar winds interacting with the Moon's oxidized rocks. Scientists also confirmed that surface ice exists in the same region, with observations by China's Chang'e 4 rover providing further evidence of the presence of ice. Industry experts believe that understanding the Moon's surface water could open up several significant commercial opportunities, including a potential to establish a destination on the Moon where astronauts can stay and commercial activities can take place. Another potential opportunity is the utilization of the water ice. Some experts suggest that under the right conditions, this could be broken down to create breathable oxygen and fuel sources for spacecraft. All of this evidence that Chang'e 5 has brought to light, while incredibly important in a scientific sense, may eventually provide valuable resources to further our exploration of the universe. The Moon Rocks Contain Hydrogen Chang'e 5's groundbreaking mission to uncover the secrets of the Moon has revealed moon rocks containing unexpected levels of hydrogen. This discovery holds a wealth of implications regarding our understanding of the Moon's formation and the solar system's formation. The presence of hydrogen in the moon rocks indicates it may be more volatile and dynamic on its geological level than once thought. This suggests that water has been produced or part of the lunar surface in the past few billion years. This means the moon has likely resurfaced in more recent times, which supports the giant impact hypothesis, which suggests the moon resulted from a massive collision early in the solar system's history. Furthermore, according to measurements conducted by the mission, hydrogen levels are around four times what was previously anticipated which indicates that the Moon's magnetic field may have been more prominent in its formative years. This implies that a lava ocean may have existed on the Moon in its first years and that it may be geologically more active than first expected. The discovery of hydrogen on the lunar surface has enabled teams of scientists the opportunity to uncover clues from the Moon's past, which can ultimately explain how our solar system was formed and potentially unlock new realms of exploration for future scientists. With this knowledge, further investigation and research may be able to prove new theories about the origin of our universe. Clues about the Moon's Magnetic Field 
The Chang'e-5's mission findings regarding the presence of hydrogen in the moon rocks have opened up new pathways for exploration and investigation when it comes to an understanding of the moon's magnetic field. One of the key findings was that hydrogen was able to be bound to rock grains when temperatures dropped below a certain point. This is extremely significant in terms of understanding the moon's magnetic field, as it suggests that there may have been a lava ocean on the moon at some stage in its development. This hypothesis has been developed on the basis of two distinct reasons. The first reason is rooted in the principles of magnetohydrodynamics where the presence of molten silicates that are infused with magnetic elements are able to generate an overall global magnetic field. In other words, the presence of hydrogen in moon rocks points to the existence of a well-developed and widespread magma ocean on the moon's surface, which not only has the capacity to produce the magnetic field, but can also influence the temperatures in the overall environment. The second reason relates to the lunar bombardment or the impacts of asteroids on the surface. The obvious assumption is that impacts should have permanently wiped out any magnetic markings on the moon's surface, but this scenario is not supported by data. Crater densities on both sides of the moon remained fairly consistent, which suggests that some kind of magnetic field must have been present at some stage to protect the moon's surface and prevent it from being completely destroyed by asteroid impacts. The presence of hydrogen in the moon rocks is consistent with the theory that suggests that the magnetic fields on the moon have a much richer history than we initially thought. Possible Origins of the Solar System the extremely important discovery of hydrogen in the moon rocks collected on the Chang'e 5 mission indicates that the moon has been undergoing resurfacing in more recent times, and the presence of this particular element on the lunar surface could provide valuable clues regarding the origins of the solar system. Hydrogen is an extremely volatile element, and scientists suspect that its presence in the moon rocks could suggest that the entire moon was once covered in a liquid lava ocean. This implies that the moon's interior was considerably more active and hot than previously thought, which supports the giant impact hypothesis and suggests that the moon was formed during a massive collision between early Earth and an extraterrestrial body. The evidence also provides scientists with a valuable source of insight into the origin of the moons. In the past, scientists have suggested that the moon was an independent body from Earth and had been captured by its gravitational pull, or that it was formed from pieces of debris from an asteroid or comet collision. However, this new data indicates that the moon could be part of a larger building block. The presence of hydrogen in the moon rocks also provides hints about heat within the moon's interior, which could explain why it appears to be more geologically active than other bodies in our solar system. Thus, combined with the evidence from Chang'e 5 that there were more substantial volcanic outpourings on the moon in the past, suggests that the moon may still possess a significant amount of heat near its core. If this is the case, the moon may even still be in the process of cooling down from its formative years when it was a molten, boiling mass. Volcanic Activity in the Past The Chang'e 5 mission made an astonishing discovery of possible volcanic activity in the past, which was one of the ten major aspects of the findings they brought back with them. Analysis of the composition of the basaltic materials found in the Chang'e 5 samples of the upper lunar crust provided evidence that there were far more extensive eruptions in the past potentially millions of years ago. These remarkable findings suggest the possibility of a more recent resurfacing of the Moon, validating the theory of the giant impact hypothesis. This hypothesis suggests that the Moon was formed as a result of a giant collision between an extraterrestrial body and the Earth billions of years ago. The findings from the Chang'e 5 mission suggest that the Moon may have experienced more recent volcanic activity, which could help explain why it appears to be more geologically active than previously believed. The discovery of more recent volcanic activity on the Moon's surface by China's Chang'e 5 mission has had an invaluable impact on the field of planetary science. It not only confirms the giant impact hypothesis, but also indicates that the Moon is far more volatile and intricate than hitherto reckoned. This provides an opportunity for scientists to research the Moon's past in finer detail potentially uncovering new conclusions which help explain the origins of the universe. Further investigation of the Chang'e 5 findings will reveal many more clues as to how our solar system first evolved, as well as explain why the Moon is so much more dynamic than previously thought. 
This remarkable mission has not only created a spark of excitement in the field of planetary science and lunar exploration, but it has also proved that China's space program is a force to be reckoned with. Exploring the Moon Further the findings from China's Chang'e 5 mission hold unprecedented implications in the fields of planetary science and exploration. For the first time, researchers have been able to assess the Moon up close and personal, in an incredibly detailed manner, allowing them to make discoveries that cannot be made through Earth-based observation alone. The Apollo missions brought back samples that were more than 4 billion years old, and the other lunar samples were collected by robotic rovers. However, the Chang'e 5 mission is the only mission to bring back samples from the most recent event. The samples from this mission have revolutionized our understanding of the Moon and opened the door to further exploration and investigation in search of new revelations. There you have it, the top 10 amazing discoveries the Chang'e 5 mission has revealed. We now know the age of the moon rocks, the composition of dormant basaltic materials, the presence of recent volcanism, the first direct on-site evidence of surface water, the presence of hydrogen in moon rocks, and the possible connection between this and the formation of our solar system, and the moon's magnetic field, and much, much more. Chang'e 5 has revealed far more secrets than anyone could have predicted, and there is still much more to learn. Thank you so much for watching, and don't forget to subscribe, like, and leave a comment. Until next time!